missed um, the possibility to come to Ukraine and to see to see my friends, my my family, my mom, and uh, just to be to be safe in Ukraine. However, Elena is optimistic about the future of Ukraine. She believes Russia will soon withdraw its troops from the country. What would it mean to you for Ukraine to be free again, for Ukraine to be free of Russian invasion? Still difficult, isn't it? Yeah. I think it will be a great celebration, really. Not only for, for Ukraine, but all all world also. The church gives people the opportunity to talk about their experiences and share their concerns over coffee and cake. It's a safe place and it's, it's somewhere they can come. It doesn't cost any money, it's warm, there's always a friendly face and they're always made to feel welcome. And someone else who's enjoying her new surroundings is Marsha. She was just three when we met her almost a year ago. She couldn't speak English back then. She's made lots of new friends and is making excellent progress at school. What are your friends' names? Can you remember all of their names? Paisley, Flow and Salise, and, and Lucy. And what do you do with your best friend, Lucy? Mm, go and say... Can you show me your ballerina dance again? Yeah. Go on then. Meanwhile, Sophia has been awarded a prestigious scholarship at an institute for talented pianists in London. Her tutor, who is Russian, is hugely supportive and recognises her potential. Sophia is unsure what the future holds, but she's looking forward to being reunited with her friends in Ukraine one day.